happy Saturday afternoon, everyone. This is Meg at Chasing Retro. I am back on today. Unexpectedly, I normally don't post a video on the weekend, but I wanted to share some happy mail that I received this morning from a dear, dear, sweet friend, Honey. She surprised me with some beautiful vintage handkerchiefs, which I knew were on the way, but she also put a few more goodies in the package. So I wanted to go through real fast with y'all and let's see what she has sent my way. I hope y'all are having a good weekend so far. Staying cool in this heat. <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful bundle. These are so lovely and they're wrapped with this little I don't know what that is. It feels like silk and it's got some um, padding inside of it. These are gorgeous. So, so pretty. Look at this beautiful trim on the corner. That's unusual to see the trim on the corners like that. Oh, look how lovely this one is. Wow. I love the yellow with the lace on top. This is adorable too. It's like a chain stitch. I think that's what that's called. <laughs> oh, so pretty. This feels silky too. And then it's got a crochet on the edge. And then, oh wow, this is unique. Look at that. That is so pretty. I may have to use some of these, um, not in junk journals, <laughs> just, you know, use the, this would be gorgeous on like in the center of a, of, um, dining room table. I love that. Another yellow one. A very delicate lace one. This looks like something for a bride. <laughs> I love that. Some plaids. Oh, I love that green and pink together. This is springy. I love that one. Oops, sorry about that. It's got like a little stars almost. That's neat. It's like a, it's quite faded, but it's like little dots. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like it might have been red dots at one time. And then some blue roses with the orange trim. And purple. Oh, this is kind of like Mardi Gras colors, isn't it? Purple, green, and yellow. And some like a lavender with green and red. Same one in orange. This is very 70s looking. This is cute. I love that. These remind me of the ones that my grandpa used to have in his pocket. He had these little striped, striped ones. So pretty. And the fabric is so delicate and so soft. Even the cotton feels like silk. Sort of an Aztec print there. Ooh, that's pretty. I love that little red flowers. 
red roses or orangey red. This one's pretty. It's got a bouquet on one corner and then some ribbon around the edge and little bows in the background. This one, these look so mid-century, I think. They're so cool. Love it. Another red stripe. Oh, this one's very, it's got little, <clears throat> almost like a Baroque, French Baroque scene. Very pretty. Another beautiful pastel. Red, red roses with some other kind of flower right here. Pink and blue. Oh, well, this one's pretty. It's almost like can. Is it candle wicking? Uh, I can't remember. I was just looking at a um, pillowcase in my closet that was that embroidery style. This one's like a organza or chiffon. I can't keep those two fabrics separate. And it's flocked. These are flocked. That's really neat. Orange flowers. Red and yellow and green. Ooh, this one's neat. I love this one. I love it. So these types of real thin floral ones make, like, you know, the little ladies that you see where they make the skirts out of the handkerchiefs, little paper ladies. I've never made that before, but I may have to try. Then beautiful red and pink. That red is striking, I love it. Another sheer one. I've never seen any like this before. So pretty. Oh, those are neat. Thank you, honey, for this beautiful package of handkerchiefs and a couple of doilies. I love them. And then it looks like she also sent some um, embellishments or like scrapbook slash junk journal goodies. Coco and Daisy. Let's see. We have a Halloween kit, like die cuts, with some little tags and signs, and a, and a, um, I've already said die cut, haven't I? Tab, there's a tab in there, it's so cute. And then, this must be a little business card for the Coco Daisy. And some washi tape, it's like clear, sort of a transparent spider web, that's neat and some acrylic stamps. I want candy. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is cute. That little bunny. I guess that's a bunny with the flower. Official chocolate tester. That is me. I have never had any of these dots. These are so cool, but I have not purchased any, so this is a treat. They have glitter in them too. They look so retro, I love that, the colors. These are adorable. Yeah, this is making me think for fall journals already. I need to think about that because it's so hot here. These are puffy stickers. I used to love puffy stickers when I was a kid. Oh my goodness, that was my favorite kind to put in my little albums. I love them. These look like thickers, or they might just be the little cardboard punch outs. They're so cute. Keep calm and eat candy. <laughs> and then we have some 
textured glitter words, like in a scroll for format. That's so cool. It's, it's like a very fine black glitter. It's hard to see. And this looks like a paper pack. It's like a little footprint with the ghost. <laughs> it's kind of... Cute little journaling cards. They look so retro. I love it. And the stickers. Adorable. And then some vellum with some spiders. It's very translucent. And then some paper. Or cardstock. Double sided cardstock. Black hat. I've never heard of this company before. I like their style. And the paper is very, very thick and nice. Like it feels good in your hands. Yeah, I've never heard of Coco Daisy. I love these plaids. Oh my goodness. And these look like more of those, maybe these are borders. They're bats. That's neat. And then here, this is like another one of their sets. And we've got some washi with like a spooky tree, maybe, or moonlight with spooky tree. And then some more die cuts. And then, oh, more die cuts. This is like Harry Potter. I don't know a whole lot about Harry Potter, but um, my, my daughter read all of them and we've watched the movies. Hocus Pocus, go and boo. <laughs> and this is a cute little glassine bag. Let's see if I can save it. Some cards here. Stickers. Yeah, that's, I reckon that's him from Harry Potter. He was the little owl, the barn owl. I love owls. Little journaling cards. A little I guess that would be a page edger and then more puffy stickers. Look at that cat. And more of these thick cardboard. I really need to learn how to use these. I have several, none, none in this theme, but um, I'm a little intimidated on how to use them. I need to watch some videos. These are cool. These are puffy letters. And I love the font. That is so cute. Another vellum piece. That's super unique. It's, water, it's like a watercolor splatter. Oh, look at this. Nice. The owl, that's so cool. And it's like a frosted black. And then we have some crows jack-o'-lanterns, some old ads and ledger with some paint splatter. I guess you would call this sort of like chevron. Candles. So cool. Thank you, Hani, for this awesome, fun surprise gift. It was amazing. It made my day, made my weekend. And guys, the journals are almost done. Um, I've been taking care of household tasks today. Um, you know, doing little things like getting piles of stuff ready for our son to move into the dorm and all of that. Just, it kind of forces you to reorganize your stuff when you have to um, start thinking about someone, you know, moving into a different place. 
So I've been super busy with that today, but I'm going to sit down this afternoon and evening. I hope to have these listed tomorrow, but we'll see. It, it may not happen till Monday, but just stay tuned guys. And I will, I'll try to put up enough warning before I list them, uh, both on Instagram and YouTube community tab to let you know when they'll be in the shop. So thank you again, honey, for these beautiful things. And I hope you guys have the most wonderful Saturday evening. Talk to you soon. Bye.